This is a healing experiential to support you in working with your younger self and any healing that your younger self might need in connecting to your present day self and the resources that you have now. The Embody podcast accompanies you on your journey of remembering and embodying your true nature, integration and alignment with your vibrational clarity, self-love, and living a life of beauty and wholeness. It's a menu of transformative healing tools, experientials, meditations, and practices from a blend of family constellations, somatic therapies, and holistic and spiritual practices sprinkled with vulnerable conversations with people who have the courage to be themselves, Alive Now episodes with updates on my personal process, and reverie episodes that are spiritual succulents that honor, reveal, hug, shake, or stir you into love. I'm your host, Candice Wu, integrative and intuitive healing facilitator and artist. Welcome back to the Embody Podcast. This is a quick experiential for you to try in case you want to work with a part of your younger self or past self any part of yourself that you're aware of that wants to feel healing, love, safety, or any sort of resource that your present day self has access to that your past self may not have had access to. For me, it feels like a bridging across time and across ways of being and access to a kind of feeling that a part of me has that another part of me doesn't have so that I become more whole and more integrated. It's great when this tool is used when a part of you comes up naturally. For example, if you got triggered by something happening in the now and you look into yourself and say, what part of me got triggered by this experience? What part of me is having this reaction of whatever emotion it is or whatever action it is, behavior? And if that part of you is either another part of you in the now or a past part of you, a younger version of you, your inner child, some people would call it, or a past version of you, If that part of you would benefit from connecting up with another part of you that is aware of or has more resource, has more ability to tap into different feelings of safety, love, and care or support, then this experiential would support you in that. And it's great when that does come up naturally through like something that triggered you or for me, it came up through some pain in my body. I was turning over in my bed and pulling my weighted blanket over my shoulders towards my face. And I noticed my shoulder joints were hurting a lot. Like moving my blanket should not (laughs) make me feel so much pain. And I have been working with different um, parts of my nutrition and playing with different foods. So I'm aware that that could be part of it. But this time it felt like. It was emotional and energetic, like something could be there. And I just wanted to check. And as I tuned into it, I asked my shoulders, I asked the energy of it, which looked like dark gray energy, mucky energy. I asked it, what what are you or who are you? What do you want to tell me? And it wasn't like a straight answer. I just started to feel and think about suddenly my college self, a version of myself in college. And that part of me was feeling depressed, lonely, like life was really, really hard and I wasn't able to talk to anybody about it and didn't feel safe enough to reveal the challenges. I just had to be, I felt like I had to be this happy-go-lucky version of myself to present to the world, dealing with it all by myself. And so It just came to me naturally to step into that part of me, which is what I want to um, walk you through here in this experiential. I stepped into this other part of me that was feeling triggered and feeling 
lonely and emotional and looked towards from that version of myself, looked towards the future self into the now self. And what really did it was looking at all the accomplishments I've had, looking at all the beautiful relationships and loving connections I had. But the most powerful part was seeing that I was connected with horses in the present day. When my college self, when I stepped into that part and felt from there, I could see my future self feeling so loved and in the presence of horses, feeling so at home, feeling safety. That's when the big energetic shift came in my body and tears and a lot of healing, like loving tears came. What I mean is like um, relief and feeling like my college self could tap into those feelings of safety and home that I have in the present day with horses now. I felt integration. I felt like two parts of time had collided and absorbed into one whole. So I felt more whole afterwards. And the next day, my shoulders did not hurt. My joints did not hurt the way they did when I was pulling over the blanket and even trying it again in the morning, I could feel that it was like my torso and my arms were more connected through the joint of my shoulders. So hopefully this tool can be for you either just jumping into it, which may or may not be possible right now just by connecting in with a younger version of yourself. But if you have a trigger in the near future or any time and you remember that maybe you could tune into a younger version of yourself if a younger version of yourself was triggered that you could use this experiential to support a different kind of integration so if you want to try it with me let's jump in here together i would recommend doing this when you're not operating heavy machinery and when you're not driving, um, where you can have a little bit of privacy that gives you enough safety, a container that holds you. So I invite you now to touch into any part of your younger self or a past self or a multidimensional part of yourself that you're aware of is still healing or need something, or has had reactions to any experiences that still connect with you now. And just for ease sake, I'm going to talk about it as if it's a past version of yourself, so a younger version of you. And connect with that version of you, the younger version of you, or whatever part you you're connected with. Imagine and embody stepping into that part of you. Land in that part of you that holds all of those feelings and experiences of that time. Experience in your body whatever happens here as you land into a younger part of you, the past part of you, etc. Embrace and experience any emotions that come up or any way your body starts to move or get frozen. And if your future self From that perspective, it would be your future self, which is equivalent to your now self or some other version of yourself before now that was later than this time period. If your future self could feel the presence of you at a more resourced time 
and have yourself as a companion to talk to, to be with. Notice what you would share from that part of you as you're in that part of you. Feel your future self listening and holding you or holding your hand or holding presence with you as you share whatever's going on. without any judgment. If that's challenging, imagine your future self could do that. Could witness you and hold you with loving presence. You might take more time here. Feel free to pause the experiential. Feel free to notice if there's nothing that's coming up or there's nothing to say, but just a feeling. Sharing space with a supportive being that is your future self. And as you're in this younger version of yourself, as you look through time, through all the things you experienced after that moment in time. Notice the good things, the moments of beauty, the achievements, any loving relationships, friendships, or connections. And when you notice each one or any of those. Experience what happens in your body and take the time here to just feel through that. And if you look all the way to your present day self or any other part of you in the future, from your past self, that is, Is there anything that you're aware of that is so wonderful in your life or so sweet, supportive, safe, or feeling like home? And for me, it was the horses. Is there anything that this past self that you're in can connect with that gives you any supportive or safe feeling that you may need. It could be a therapist or a healer or an animal in your life that came later in your life. It could be an activity that you're involved in that just makes you feel like yourself or feel empowered. Whatever it is, connect with that and notice that this is waiting for you in the future. But that you can have it right now. Your future self can introduce you to all of that world and what it brings you. If it's hard to find something, look for any moment that you felt okay in your life and see if you connect with that feeling, that moment in time. And you're still in your past self. From the perspective of your past self, looking forward into time. Whatever's happening here, let your body experience it.
Let any feelings move through. And if there's anything else you need, feel free to voice that to your future self. And imagine receiving it or receive it directly from your future self. Notice what's happening in your body. Feel free to take an internal snapshot of what's going on. Notice any changes inside. And at your own pace, when you're ready, travel forward into time, back into your present day self. And as you land in your now self, look around your space, connect with anything in your space that feels pleasant to look at and allows you to recognize that you're here right now, that you're safe. And feel free to look back towards your past self or whichever version of yourself you were looking at or that you had stepped into. Just notice any changes or what's happening now. And then when you're ready to let it go and come back to the awareness of your surroundings, feel free to make contact with your body in any way. Any touch towards the body might support your body in feeling its container and digesting anything that's happening. And you can thank your body, thank yourself for tuning into something here. Even if nothing happened for you, for learning this tool, for giving yourself the time to check in with yourself, for, for healing, for any integration that may have happened even unconsciously. And we'll just close this experience today with lots of love and gratitude. Thanks for joining me, and I hope this tool is helpful for you. There are other experientials and podcasts about parts work, dialoguing with different parts of yourself. It's spread out across the whole podcast, so you can look for those at candiswu.com slash podcast or slash meditations if you want to go straight to the experientials. And particularly if you check out candiswu.com slash parts work, there is some good stuff there about working with the parts of yourself, working with your younger parts of yourself, and any parts of yourself that you're aware of. Thanks so much for joining today and hope you all have a wonderful, beautiful day. If you enjoy the podcast or it supported you, feel free to check out my support page to make a contribution to the podcast. It costs money to produce every single episode, to edit it, and to um, publish it on all the platforms. And your donations and contributions, your shares, with people around you, with friends and family and clients and colleagues, all that helps. And I want to give a shout out to all those that have donated to me. Some of you are sending it straight to Venmo at my handle at Candice-Wu-2. And if you're not in the U.S. and using Venmo and you're outside of uh, the states, you can go to my page at candicewood.com slash support and find other ways to donate through credit card or PayPal. And I'm just putting up here ways to contribute to the podcast through cryptocurrency. So if you are one of those tech savvy or 
people who have just gotten into the crypto world and want to send it through that avenue, uh, that'd be awesome. If you go to my page, you can send it straight to the wallet there and be sure to copy and paste the wallet address um, so that there aren't any you know, typos because it, those are long address addresses for those wallets. That's at my page, candicewood.com slash support. Thank you so much. Blessings to all of you out there. Take good care.